The story is told of a young man who left Ireland during the Great Potato Famine and was making his way toward America. Having very few funds, he had saved everything he could get his hands on in order to buy a ticket on that ship. He would brought with him a, a sack with some food in it to sustain him until they got to America. But he hadn't been at sea very long until the sack was empty, the food was gone, and he was hungry. And finally, he approached one of the ship's officers and explained that he had brought food with him, but it was all gone, and wondering if there was any work he could do on the ship in order to buy his food for the day. And the officer looked at him and he said, well, son, didn't you buy a ticket? for this ship to get you to America? And the young man said, yes, sir. And he said, well, son, when you bought that ticket, that entitled you to eat all of your meals here on the ship. You see what was going on? This young man was living far beneath his privileges. He was privileged to eat there in the ship's dining room, but he wasn't doing it. And that's what's happening to so many, many people in our world today. We have the greatest privilege in the world. In fact, we have the greatest privilege in all of time. For it is our privilege to be called the sons of God. It is our privilege to live in the midst of the best people this world has ever seen, the disciples of Jesus. It's our privilege to be supported and strengthened and upheld by those who in Christ love us and keep us and encourage us. Why, why would anybody live so far beneath that privilege? Let's not be like the young man who left Ireland in the potato famine. Let's live according to all of the privileges that the Lord has given us. Father, we do thank Thee for these privileges, the fact that we can be called Thy children, that we can live with Christians and enjoy the finest blessings of the ages. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>